All right, it's time for part 67 of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Again, I must warn, don't burr because you may miss out on something very important. Anyway. I don't plan on it. <laughs> I'll be right back. No, no, I'm kidding. Don't you even. Mystic Maya stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with a staff. She didn't die, just stumbled. But no she dream, no dream. next attack and stole her weapon. She fainted. She flinched. <laughs> Maya, why it out? Suddenly, Mr. Elise was the one in the defensive, with her back to the stone mountain. Ow. It hurts. Yeah. Yeah. That's when Mystic Maya stabbed Mystic Elise. And then the flames of disaster were released. Mystic Elise managed to fling the knife away, but then, then she collapsed. Hmm. That was a very heartbreaking story. <laughs> I don't know if there were any bad feelings between them, but... Please, Pedro, contain your Kleenexes. It had been 17 years since Mix Mystic Misty's disappearance. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Hmm? Sounds very fishy. <laughs> Perhaps they simply didn't recognize each other anymore. Hmm. That seems reasonable. Maya did it say does. that. Well, Maya, well, Maya herself did say earlier during this turn about that she wouldn't even recognize her own mother, considering how long it's been since she saw her. Well, didn't she see the scroll herself before the night? Not it's to mention Maya the, we're talking about. Well, not to yeah. mention the fact that no one really recognized Mystic Elise with her. I mean, Mystic Misty with her Elise Dunham bit. Iris, where were you standing when you witnessed all of this? Over the body of my girlfriend, shouting, What am I fighting for? Iris had a girlfriend, huh? Well, if either of them had noticed you, they might Iris not have continued and... their battle. That's the shape, though. <laughs> I... I wonder if that's true. The two of them. They were standing near the garden stone lantern. Hmm... I... I was watching the whole thing from behind. I, 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 I'm gonna poke I, your eye <laughs> Don't stop stuttering! <laughs> it was dark when the two of them were... It was dark where the two of them were, so... Yeah, it's, oh, not like, it's not like we were standing just under a giant lantern stone. That would have broken Godo's monotony a little About bit. About that. Have, him, have, have, have him mock seen... the witnesses. Wouldn't they have seen her shadow or something? Or at least Maya? Yeah, but... About that. The lantern was apparently not lit, despite it supposed to being lit. Remember? Tell me. What did Miss Maya Fey do after she was struck? It was established earlier that the stone lantern was supposed to be lit, but for some unknown reason was not. HOLD IT! What happened to the victim's staff then? It got cracked. I... am not sure. It's intact. The area was very dark, so I really couldn't see. I think it got knocked away somewhere as the fight escalated. That makes sense. Does it? Yep, it does. That would explain the need for the dagger. If she just threw her staff aside. Mr. Police raised the dagger to strike. But Mr. Maya dodged it at the last second. You just told us that. Cross-examination, testimony, story segregation. Ooh. Some spirit media tried to stab me. Throw your dagger to the ground. <laughs> and then at some point, Mr. Maya picked it up. Nothing sounds especially strange yet. What did the victim do when the victim was stolen? When the weapon was stolen from her? HOLD IT! You're saying that Maya Fey turned the tables on the victim? That sounds like a turnabout. Yes. When Mr. 
optimistic Maya wasn't herself at the time. I suppose, given the circumstances. Oh, her life was in danger. Uh, actually, no, that sounds like Maya. Yeah. I still can't believe it. No way. Uh, okay, the idea of Maya way. cornering someone at knife point. It's just silly. It was as silly as the time when she was accused of it back then, and that other time, and that other time, as it is now. <laughs> as they say, a cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. Ahem. <clears throat> I uh, believe the correct yeah. description of a cornered fox is scared and petrified. Your animal analogies have grown tiresome. He has his own analogy. You were the one who started it! Besides, good oil, it could be worse, it could be a food analogy. Anyway, so after Maya Fey backed the victim into the stone lantern, what happened next? Here's the oh, no, you keep using that analogy. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Who doesn't? What movie? Dwibs has not seen it. Mind. Objection! Dang it, Dwibs, there are so many movies you have yet to see. Something about you just isn't right today, Iris. Until now, I didn't think you were the type to make such a careless mistake. Goro, please stop drinking. Huh. No. However, the testimony you just gave contains quite a few contradictions. In fact, in fact, that's what I want another... If, when they make 8th Attorney 7, can the next prosecutor be someone who constantly mocks all the witnesses? Uh, 8th Attorney uh, 6. Doesn't yeah. Francisco do that? That too, yeah. No, no, like say the say the um say the witness says something like, but but, but, but I was the one who did it, and then and then the and then the prosecutor says and you know they um imitating kind of voice, but he was the one who did it. Oh God, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Oh dear. Have we not had that? Anyway, there's a contradiction yes, here. That's right. Yeah, about that. But in that case, the victim would have been stabbed in the stomach, right? As you can tell by the picture. So, uh, <laughs> and and yes. go those to blame? I think so. He gives love but, to according to the autopsy report, which has not been updated, <laughs> the cause of death was due to blood loss from a stab wound in her back. Ooh. Uh? This proves that the victim was stabbed from behind. Not from the front. And then Edgeworth charges into the room. Your Honor, I actually have the updated autopsy report. And anyway, Phoenix is like, no. It appears another scene of doubt has spotted from your testimony. Edgeworth stabs Phoenix in the back. Phoenix, you're making her look more and more guilty. What? What is the meaning of this, Mr. White? Where? <laughs> it's simple. As simple as wherever that coffee comes from. People are like books. They've all got a front and a back in my drift. You made a Does metaphor that made we, sense. Doesn't mean we're we made by compressors. Um, is that all you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, even the judge is tired of your shit, girl. I can also say the darn it's left to play with a human mind. Oh. Uh, OBJECTION! <laughs> Could you please knock it off with the cheesy proverbs and illogical metaphors already? Thank you. The point is... I've never related so hard to a character. <laughs> that? You know, that's one reason why I love Phoenix. He's like one of the almost ultimate relatable characters you can find in a video game. Oh yeah, you can tell it was made as the, your typical average Joe. Well, it's not so much that he's an average Joe per se, but he's like, he's so relatable in regards to how a real person would react to a lot of the weird wacky well, stuff yeah, in this that... world. That's, just, that's, uh, that's what he was trying to say. That's the point. Yeah, when you write when you write a, a universe that's full of such insane people, it's always good to have an average Joe protagonist so that he can have a proper. The, the weird oh, shit. that's what you meant. Oh, that's what you meant. And I thought he started oh, from rock bottom, like he wasn't automatically, you know, um, it's, it's, it, that's untouchable why Nate, protagonist yeah. kind of. Thing. That's why Nate from Yokai watches the way he is, for, specifically for that purpose. Oh, so that's what you mean? Because like, oh, I thought that you were referring to him as an average Joe, the same way that you refer to Larry. But as an average Joe. Okay. Jesus. There are 253 distinct types of bitterness in coffee. And counting probably with how many you make. 
but the pit cow each one requires total concentration and the use of all the cough senses. <laughs> were you really concentrating on what this witness actually said, or were you too busy looking at our cleavage? I'm more when it comes to tea. What? Uh, I don't you know about the Explain yourself! <laughs> The witness was quite unambiguous about her own ambiguities when she said that the garden was dark and she couldn't see clearly. Oh, ho ho! The clever tactic of we didn't see it clearly. Okay, let's see what you got. A human needs one thing to see clearly. Light? And that is light. Dr. Light, are you in here? Or a pair of cat's eyes, I guess. Light. Well, actually, um, all things considered, considered, like, with the area that they were in, in the mountain By region, the way, wouldn't the moonlight you know? be enough? Unfortunately, yeah. no, not out in the forest Inner with the trees covering rule. it. A nice one in Akali is treated. Oh, but, oh, wait, yeah. wait, 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 that's right. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, Tio brings up a good point. It was storming, so the moonlight wouldn't have been out. True. Yeah. Well, if that's true, shouldn't the witness have been able to see the crime more clearly? About that, Your Honor. Normally, yes, Your Honor. But according to the head nun, Sister Bikini Bottom. <laughs> oh! <laughs> On the night of the crime, it was impossible to light the stone lantern. That actually makes sense. If it was storming, the wind would have probably oh. have blown out the flames. It hadn't been used in a long time, and the wick was no good. Oh, that too! In other words, it had to be nearly pitch black in the garden that night. There couldn't have been a thing like me from the training hall, but that's all. <laughs> Most enlightening. Ha! Ha de ha ha. Yes, that illuminating fact has chased all the contradictions away! Also, how does mm. gravity work with the coffee? That's I a good question. If the staff was dropped, it'll be difficult to see. Maybe we're operating on Sonic 4 physics? <laughs> no, 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 no. The difference between that and Sonic 4 physics is that that actually looks awesome. We can't see the demons that lurk in the night. That's why humans are weak. Okay. Isn't that right, Trite? I don't know, let me ask my good friend Batman. No! But, but no. Mr. White, I'm over with Marvel, not BC. Order, order, order. Here, Your Honor, let me present the stone lantern into evidence. Bye. Wow, you brought the stone lantern into the court? <laughs> Jesus, that must be you. Maybe it'll rekindle the flame of truth in your mind. Hey, this uh, right. In the Tell court record. Do you want me to Phoenix pass? carry it over. <laughs> hey, Mr. Wright, do you want me to pass that lantern to you? Take Wait. this. Ow! Why is the judge just sitting there with his mouth agape? What's wrong, Your Honor? Was that flame too hot? <sighs> this lantern has something written on it. Mm -hmm. Ta -ta -ta. What? Wait, God, all he didn't notice that. Yeah. Uh, well, well, it's so, written in but you know what happened happened previously? Uh, actually, they haven't said it out right yet. Ooh. I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Tio, doesn't this look sound familiar to you? True. So the judge didn't know that yet. Written in blood? This oh, oh. Believe it or not, Tio, this has been foreshadowed. Yes, it, it was. It says... It says Maya upside down! Maya upside down? It the says only... oh, cow. I may have forgot. The only thing that this tells me is that Godo cannot see blood or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, that's right. not quite it, Dio. It's not quite it, but you're on the right track. Yeah. After, after being cornered and then stopped by Mr. Wire, Mr. Police didn't call her again. True, she took some time to die. Goody. She must have been writing that on the stone lantern behind her. Of course. Oh, oh, Tau. Oh, how? With the blood that was draining out of her body, because she totally had the time and the energy to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, somewhat. It looks at us here, right? People are just be able to do that. But... Let's see, um, well, it's okay. Like, when you've been stabbed, I'm not sure the first thought is, like, I'm gonna paint something with my blood. Objection! <laughs> hang on, hang on just a minute! I've already uh -oh. brought up a... 
Yeah, yeah, I, I already made a reference to his feet. Uh, what are you all talking about? Uh, Godo? Earth to Godo. Please. What do you mean, what are you all talking let's, about? Uh, look at, <laughs> what's it, what's it, take a good look at Godo. What do you think? That he cannot distinguish the red color or something? You're getting close. Well, his visor is red. Uh, it's like a virtual boy. Everything is black and red. Well, remember, <laughs> Tio, he has... Yes. Could well, you, uh, you, see, you see why people, you see why Teo is a tra you see Teo, you see, this is why Godo is a tragic character. He's forced to live the, the, his entire life through the lens of a virtual boy. Oh god, that is a tragedy. Oh, god, now, oh I take it back, I do feel sorry for him now. You see? <laughs> How hang, on, uh... hang on, Pedro, does that mean that, every, does that mean if he goes to watch a Manchester United game, he can't see the Man United players? Anyway. I completely so forgot he's... about no, his no, 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 that, 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 That's the thing, Dips. He can only see their limbs and heads. He can see their torso. See, <laughs> here. They've got red hair. <laughs> <laughs> see, okay, okay, okay. I will warn you, though, there's one trick to it, though. He can see red, but he cannot see it in certain circumstances. Yeah, so is he colorblind? Well, sort of, and sort of not. He can see red, but there it's are certain circumstances where he can't see it. Trust me, we'll explain he, that he, out he, right he later. Can see... You can see red unless it's convenient to the plot when he says he when he can't. No, 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 no it's there not There is that a either. reason why. And it actually well, ties in with... And it actually... Surprisingly, the reason actually ties into quite a reference to the first game. That's rather clever. M Mr. Godo? Uh, um... You're right, Okay, then. Let's move on. Uh-oh. Godo? Godo was literally shaking. And somehow, I don't think it's from the caffeine overdose. <laughs> just shut up! Jesus. I'm just concerned for you, is all. I believe it has now been established that Miss Dude was killed by Maya Faye. Okay, guys, it's time for that game. It's time to prove Maya innocent of murder. <laughs> She's guilty. She's guilty. That's that's just wrong. <laughs> now it's time to turn our attention to you. Yes, sir. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Yeah. Look at me. Bad man. After the victim ah. died, you did something, didn't you? Yep. Glug. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. We're all eyes and ears. Well, except me. Except you. And me. Yeah. <laughs> Details of... Huh. So maybe Goto has made us a character for you, Shiroi. After Mr. Kalista, I call out to Mr. Klein. Mm hmm. Good. She is the chosen one, after all. So I removed the body from the inner temple by myself. Yeah, sure. Sure you did. That is the me all the way across the dusty bridge. Wow. That's some good upper body strength you've got. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Why does everybody training have this mysterious superhuman? Uh, upper, upper body strength in these games. Iris has the excuse that she's had years of physical training living out in the mountains. But that just increase your resistance, not your strength. Oh, she's actually a pretty good puller. It just rages too many. Whatever So you moved the body. Simple as that. And then skewered it. I was raised at Hasakura Temple. There, see, there you go. I owe a great deal of debt. I owe a great deal of thanks to the Fae Clan. Yeah, you technically are part of the Fae Clan, and she, I'm not quite sure she has any idea, actually. But even so, I never imagined that at least Yunin was actually Misty Fae. Did you not have a picture of her or something? Well, to be fair, she looks a lot different from her old picture in her current state. True. I've... I've committed a terrible sin. Just one. Ding! Ding. <laughs> a terrible trick of fate. Actually... Also, when, she was, when she was brought back to the temple, she was very young, so I think um, Misty disappeared by that time. Uh, actually, sure, Misty had already disappeared. Wait, had she already? Let me think. No, that, no that's why I'm. That's yeah. why I'm saying because uh, uh, Elise is young enough. True. Yeah. 
True. <sighs> I just know, we're just, I just gotta remember, this all ties into DL6. That's always a good bridging point. <laughs> because, because that one was off me. Well, again, Pearl Fay was technically born because of DL6. Go figure. Well, that's, uh, right, that's, 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 that's one thing, the, that's one positive thing about Apollo Justice. No more DL6. Uh, about that twins, Ace Attorney that, 6 kind of connects that and DL6. Oh, could you not? Damn it, damn it, Yamazaki. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, you cannot what? escape DL6, Twibbs. Did you really think you were going to be able to escape that case? <laughs> I, thought with the, I thought with a new head writer, I thought we'd have done something different. Ah, Twibbs, Twibbs, Twibbs. Like, my being accused of murder, it just wouldn't be Ace Attorney without it. And again, this is the same series that um, all of a sudden makes a dark age of the law all of a sudden. OBJECTION! She saw someone murdered well, to by be fair, the fire. Well, the sister is <laughs> Well, it gets it. even worse, Jeroy. It, it gets even worse eventually. We're gonna yes, have to fix I it. I suppose that's true. Sometimes when I'm watching lawyers argue back and forth with each other. Oh, oh no. I feel so helpless, I just sit quietly and wait for them to reach a conclusion. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> By his own admission. Isn't it your job as the judge to mediate the argument? There you go, he's incompetent at his job. By his own admission. Honestly though, I think it's because he's had enough of their shit. <laughs> well, that too, yeah. <laughs> And it finally on her and, and to be fair, most court systems don't allow prosecutors to whip the judges without repercussions. And I think there's some evidence of this as well, because his younger brother seems to be more firm with everyone. He hasn't yeah. spent enough time with them, so he hasn't had his spirit broken. Go figure, I mean seriously, his brother actually tried to take Francisca's whip away from her. What yep. a brave guy! <laughs> That's odd. I mean, Sister Bikini didn't recognize Maya's name, let alone her position. So, why would Iris know? Anyway, she was a very special person indeed. Hmm. HOLD IT! Why did you do that? Because I didn't want Sister Maya to, to, to be suspected in any way. Wow, good for you. Someone who doesn't want to try and accuse Maya of murder for once. Very good. Now. You got a gold star, I guess. I thought the best thing would be to remove the body from the crime scene. That is good. That's a good idea. Alright, you actually get a point. You moved her body all by yourself. Upper body strength. Remember, uh, yes. Your Honor, everybody has superhuman strength in this but franchise. But, does, does it mean that she's keep black day? Well, not everyone. In fact, ironically, Damon Gant himself used Edra's car to move the dead body of Bruce Goodman. The snow, huh? And hey, Manfred von Karma just left Edra's body to rot there. What a nice guy. It's pretty amazing, you can move, make it all the way across. That's a rickety old bridge. I should know firsthand! It looks worse than it is. It's surprisingly sturdy despite its age. Yeah, it didn't hold me up well. It's like they say, idiots are too stupid and catch even a simple cold. <clears throat> but there's one other thing that bothers me. Besides, I just use Cold Killer X. Why not just throw the body into the Eagle River? You didn't think of that! <laughs> it would have been much easier than dragging it all the way to Hazakura Temple. You idiots! <laughs> There's actually a... <laughs> have you seen how elaborate some of these crime Cut scenes are? Throwing it into a river would be too easy. There's a bit too much suspicion either way. You may as well have thrown it into the lake. Okay, okay, okay. Dwibs, as someone who's seen this case, you should probably know there's a reason to it. Uh, you're asking Dwebs to remember shit, Joba. True, the only true, thing, true. I already know one thing about this case, so trying to figure what everything else out is confusing. <laughs> anyway, what did you do after you crossed the bridge? Believe it or not, Troy, we're actually close to one of the big solutions. Okay. Hold it! The snowmobile. I knew that would show up sooner or later. Um, I wasn't finished talking. Remember, cross-examination and testimony sections are different. They use the snowmobile to travel from Hazakura Temple to Dusky Bridge. Mm -hmm. 
This is the part that was in question the other day. Should I ask for more details? Snowmobile. Sure, alright. Let me hear more about the snowmobile ride. Well, it was very cold that night. Indeed. No contradictions there. So I rode it all the way to the foot of the bridge. Mm -hmm. Objection! Objection! I'm sorry, witness. Wait, what? But now, I've got a problem with your testimony. Wait, hold on. Wait, uh, that's not, uh, that, that, that's our job. <laughs> Goto, are you having a force of habit? Goto, what are you up to now? That night, after the head nun left the remainder of the train to you, we're all doomed. <laughs> she said she walked from the inner temple back to the Hasakura temple. Uh-oh. Yes, I'm fairly certain of what the record indicates. Let's recall our comments on the subject. Get ready, Tio! Okay. Maybe, but when it made it back to Azakura Temple. That. It was there by the main gate. There's no real, I mean. Oh. So I did. Did she just teleported? The snowmobile was in front of the main That's exactly gate. What happened. It, it's like Ganon in the Legend of Zelda cartoon, he just teleports yeah. spams everywhere. <laughs> this is one of those contradictions, when you say. You seem like a pro at pointing them out for some reason. Well, I'm not quite sure why you're Order. pointing them out. Mr. Kodo! Why are you pointing out contradictions in the witness's testimony? <laughs> this is my job, you dolt! But she's she's the prosecution's that, that, witness. Actually, so that's the defense attorney's to job. Tidy, okay? <laughs> um, tidy. Well, oh. Shh. S Sister Bikini missed it. Yes, maybe she didn't see it. Really? You expect me to fall for that one? Wait, you think she missed it? That doesn't sound right. Again, Bikini's been our one honest witness. <laughs> Whatever. Were you hinting something to me? Even I don't think that it's decisive enough to warrant any more time or effort. Oh, I see what you're doing here. All right, I getcha. I just want to know why. It's just, uh, <laughs> you better be careful in your testimony. That's all I wanted to say. You'll see why, Shiroi. Maybe not by the end of this part, but Smart by the end of the next like part. You. Shouldn't have any trouble understanding that. Yes, sir. Hmm, Goto's being. Alright. What was Perfect. that all about? I don't know. Why would Goto want to give me a hint? It's almost like he's mentoring me. And that's impossible. Very well then, let's continue with the testimony. Although he does seem a lot like this Diego Armando guy who mentored me. So you teleport a transport to the Hasakura Temple. Totally different. All the way to the Hasakura Temple courtyard. Don't you, don't, don't you see, Pedro? Sorry, Jova, where palette swaps. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought anyway. And then I. Forgot about the damn big river. <laughs> Hmm. HOLD IT! Is that what you were doing when Sister Bikini saw you? Yes, that's right. She probably felt the worst. And for good reason, too! It's not every day you see your guest being... Probably... More like, definitely... Skewered by a sword. I see. A seven well, friends one of them. I'm sure sword movies. <laughs> so Sister Bikini mistakenly thought you were the one that murdered Miss Duda. Whoopsie. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> it's my fault that this case has gotten so confusing. Ah, uh, cry me a river. No, you. it's the all four, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to believe it, but I don't think my logic is failing me. Lights are, though. 
Yeah. They tend to do definitely can't see. They tend to do that a lot more ever since Furio Tigre blew the lights out with his screaming. Iris is trying to pin the murder on Maya. But why would she want to do that? There's only one reason I can think of. Can you think of it too, audience? Um... Actually, I think I know the reason. Hold it! Yeah, you've uh, seen this case already. Okay, so now this time, let's ask about the traps. If you really did move her body by a snowmobile, then there should be traps left in the snow, right? Well, yes, actually, you would expect tracks. This picture was presented at yesterday's trial by a Miss Francisca von Karma, I do believe. Are these the tracks from that ride? Think, think or you say. know. But I can only see one set of tracks here. I don't see what's so strange about that. <sighs> <laughs> oh, if only you knew. Actually, you should know. Snow, snow is still falling when I left Hazakura Temple. I see. Snow was still falling, eh? And still surviving the fall. Thanks to that superpower trench coat of his. I guess. Mm, I just replaced it had already stopped. You know, Jova, it's one of those things that the more you say, the more it sounds stupid. I know, right? Like, you know, at first it sounds cool, but then it's just really dumb and not in the fun way. How about the Mr. Right? What do you think about this testimony? Jeremy, are you talking about a future case in a future game? Uh, let's just say it's a past case in a different game. Oh, Final okay. Fantasy are 13. You... Oh, I thought, I thought you were on about I thought you were on about the flashback in um Apollo Justice. Ah! Uh! <laughs> Don't get me started on that, please. <laughs> yeah, but but does it have something to do with this case? All will be made clear if you allow her statement to be added to the record. <laughs> this should be fun. Of course. You, let's get this snow business cleared up, shall we? Yes, sir. Take a shot every time she says that. <laughs> Um, go on, uh, yeah, I reckon, I reckon Godo would be wishing to take a shot at her. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> there have been a lot of contradictions in your testimony, Sivar. BRB. This time, are you sure it's all true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I'm, 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 def I'm defendant. Yeah, I'm a villain. When the murder happened, the snow had already stopped. According to you, that's why the snowmobile tracks were so clear. Basically, I'm all, I'm attorney, prosecutor, and judge. That's right. I'm, I'm certain of it. I think I've trapped her this time. The only thing you can't be is the cheer. You know, Dweebs, when you, when you say, you say, can I say like Team Four Stars version of Goku? Huh. I see how you think. Snow, huh? Well, what is going on here? If the snow really had stopped by the time of the murder, it'd mean there was a bigger hole in her story than that movie, The Grit Revelations! Made by the Wabowskis. <laughs> That's right, guys. Ace Attorney Team was disliking Matrix before it was cool. <laughs> Anyone else in agreement, though, about that hole? <laughs> Um, well, Matrix Revolutions is a piece of crap. So... Wait, 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 which hole again? Sorry? Matrix Revolutions. Well, the whole movie is a plot hole, but which one? <laughs> Basically, was Phoenix it? was saying that, well, he's, I think he was describing the movie as a whole as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to comparing the holes in her testimony to the holes in that movie's plot. Pretty much. Oh, right. Alright, never mind. Agreed. Yeah. I thought you were specific. Talking about this specific plot point in general. No, 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 no. Just like plot holes in general. I take it there's no objections from the audience about that.
Objection! You claim that the snow had already stopped when the murder occurred. But I'm sorry, Iris. That just isn't possible. Dun, 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 dun. What? Surprise! This is the weather data from the night of the murder. According to this, the snow didn't stop until 10.50 p.m. Night of the murder, coming soon to ITV or something. But you couldn't have crossed Dusky Bridge at that time. By the way, sure, have you heard about that ITV theme park? Oh, God. <laughs> Why are you making a theme park based off of ITV? Off a TV we'll channel. We'll discuss that later. <laughs> okay. Because we are. Because so, so, so. five minutes before the snow stopped, Dusky Bridge was struck by lightning and it caught on fire. So snow fell and lightning struck on a bridge. What did you say? That two awful characters from 13, I mean, uh, lightning struck and snow the bridge fell. bridge was on fire? You don't mean to say you didn't know about it. That would be awfully contradicting. It was because of that lightning strike that the bridge burned down between Square Enix and the fandom. It took a <laughs> it took an MMO and a big speed game to make it be the, better again. True. Well, a, a relaunch of an MMO, I should be. I should say. Well, they used fire for that too. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you still haven't figured it out. No matter how hard you try to deceive or conceal the truth. I'll reach out to the truth! You can't pull the wool over the eyes of a real defense attorney! The wool over the eyes? Yeah, wool yeah, over the eyes. Oh, shit. Jeez, oh, where'd that oh, breeze oh. come from? Oh, wait, that's right. It came from the power of my index finger. I like huh. in the anime they kept motions like that, like everyone falls back and shit. I know, right? <laughs> that's... I, I do like that. That's right. The inner temple was already totally cut off from the outside world. There's no way she could have crossed the bridge, body or nobody. Ah! Gotcha. With this, even my patience has its limits. Oh yeah. Any further lying, and I will find you in contempt of court! Oh, so now you're gonna do this. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Contempt of court, that's an interesting fan Shut game. Up. Sorry, guys, you just on a bad day. Objection! The only person here that's truly contemptible is you. Gee, is it gonna be a Phoenix insult? Oh, man. Sorry, Dibs. Wrong answer. Me? How dare you! Whatever this witness lie or not doesn't mean squat right now. Oh really? A sc squat? Yeah, squat, zilch, zippo, none. I guess it's better than squall. <laughs> the important thing now is to find out the truth. Isn't that right? That's uh, yeah, yes, of course. But that's free for free Final Fantasy jokes we've made. Whether it was snowing or not snowing, or whether the bridge was burning or not. There are two facts that can be disputed. Can't. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. First, the body of Elise Dunan was discovered in the Hasakura Temple Courtyard, True. because our witness was a moron. And second, the head nun, Sister Bikini, who is, who is almost as big a moron. Ouch! Witness Iris desecrating Elise Dunan's body. That's a good point. Makes a good point on both accounts. Plot twist: Godo is House's brother. That would explain a lot. Right. I'm not lying. What are you claiming this time? <laughs> George is sick of this. I wasn't myself at all that night. We're not. None of us are ourselves. Big deal. <laughs> My memory is still somewhat hazy. Oh, I don't oh, give a oh, damn about your fucking memory. OBJECTION! <coughs> you have stood at that witness stand and testified this entire time! 
Are you telling us now that your memory of that night is hazy? Objection! Objection. It is only human to err. But it's divine to... Never if you're so perfect, Trite, maybe you can explain this for the court. Oh, you're giving me the perfect opening, I see. What is it? Thank you. Shut up, you're not a thug. When the murder happened, the bridge had already burned down. Okay. <laughs> but somehow, the body teleported across the bridge and was found in the temple courtyard. It couldn't have been a Jiangxi. Perhaps you have some kind of perfect explanation for this little magic trick. Hmm. Can we not go back to that, please? Don't tell me it's that <laughs> stupid drawing. Uh, not exactly. It no. took a catapult and flung her body over the bridge. Okay. Yeah. That's the picture in the let's just let's just say to you, I'm honestly surprised you haven't figured it out yet. I figured it out, uh, it out pretty much immediately. <laughs> but unless I can somehow demonstrate it, we'll never know the truth. It, it, especially because considering it's Larry Butts, so it, it, it's something something like it's that. I mean, it's how could it not never... be? Simple, suitable, simple explanation. <laughs> <Again>. <laughs> 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 simple. You see what I mean? In other words. Hey Pedro, Please he wants true. a simple explanation. A <laughs> simple explanation. <laughs> you are no <laughs> to suggest that this lady's testimony isn't the truth. Dang it, oh, we... Godo, you haven't been here long, have you? <laughs> ah! He sadly has a point, though. Unless we can disprove those points, which are sadly held up by Bikini's testimony, right, we're up the creek without a paddle. Witness, I see your testimony uh, once more. About what, Your Honor? About you getting out of my court. You've admitted that you moved the victim's body. Nevertheless, your prior testimony contained a rather large inconsistency, one of many. Please add an explanation for that to your testimony, although knowing you, that will be full of inconsistencies too. By all yes, means, maybe I can do something with this. Will this be her final testimony? Probably oh, and by, oh, oh, and by the Maybe. oh, and by the way, Mr. Wright, if you find it, if you find a contradiction, I'll find her guilty on the spot. Well, great, just Andy. How? Tune in the next part, folks, where I try and find a way out of this mess. All right, All see, right. Ya. see ya. See ya. See ya.